I'm convinced I've figured out the general plot of Black Myth Wukong, or at the very least, a highly probable storyline. We can say with near certainty that the player character is not the infamous Monkey King, the same legendary mythical figure from the beloved Chinese classical fantasy novel Journey to the West. The devs themselves have stated on the game's website, We applaud when the Monkey King defeats so-called villains, but who are they? Why did they go against our heroes? We are curious about their fear and love, goodwill and hatred, obsessions and life. Well, I have a theory. I'm going to break it all down, but please keep in mind that these are my personal predictions based on clues from game footage, as well as deductions given the context of Chinese culture and what happens in the original novel. For those who are unfamiliar, Black Myth Wukong is an action RPG developed by Game Science Studio in China, slated to launch in 2023 for consoles and PC. In order to understand this game, you need to know the general plot of Journey to the West. This novel is one of the four great classical novels of Chinese literature from the 16th century, filled with mythology, folklore, monsters with superpowers, and other fantastical elements to rival even the most popular Western works. It chronicles the story of the legendary pilgrimage of Tang Sanzang, widely known as Tang Sun, who was tasked by Buddha to travel to the Western lands to obtain sacred texts that contain the truth. Buddha provides him with several protectors who agree to help to atone for their sins, chief among them Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. He is a monkey who acquires supernatural powers through Taoist practices. Dao in Chinese means the way, and it's a spiritual philosophy that emphasizes living in harmony with the natural order of the universe. He eventually learns polymorphic transformations in combat, amassing strength to match all celestial beings. Buddha steps in and traps him under a mountain for 500 years, but a passing monk will eventually release him from his earthly prison. This monk's name is Tang Sen, and he is the the current reincarnation of Jing Chanzi, a disciple of Buddha whose name literally translates to golden cicada. And where have we seen such an insect before? Wukong from the novel can shapeshift into 72 transformations, including small insects to sneak around enemies and eavesdrop on conversations. In the first gameplay trailer, we can see this in action. The player character takes on the form of a golden cicada and flies by several y'all. The word y'all can roughly be translated to demon, but they're different from the western sense of the word. Y'all are creatures that have cultivated spiritual merit for years to achieve superpowers and the ability to take on full or partial human transformation. Pay attention to what these are saying. What does he mean by another monkey? Moving forward, we meet a Tu Di Gong, which is a local earth deity, who exclaims, You look like him. Clearly you are not the first monkey y'all he has come across. Moving on, you go on to fight a wolf, and as you're about to land the finishing blow, someone stops you. You see the characters engraved on his staff light up to read, Ru Yi Jing Gu Bang. There is only one such staff in existence. This was the pillar that stabilized the four seas, which Wukong took from the Dragon King of the Eastern Sea to serve as his weapon. Now this is clearly the Monkey King. So if he's the Monkey King, who are you supposed to be in this story? There are more clues in the second trailer. A lot of players in Asia have compared the in-game architecture to real-world locations that actually exist. For example, we can see the Dazu rock carvings here, a world heritage site in China which is recreated in the game, as well as Qian Shou Guan Ying, the thousand armed goddess of mercy, which is a real statue at the same site. However, Asia players have also noted that there are some elements that are a bit off, like there are things that are not quite right. For example, this statue is known as Bi Shi, which is a dragon-headed tortoise which typically carries a stone tablet on its back. But here, he's serving as a steed to Mi Le Fu, who is a bodhisattva to come in the future, and typically depicted with this smiling face and round belly. We can also see decapitated Buddha heads on the other two tortoises on the side, which implies there is something twisted here. Going back to the game's name of Black Myth, the devs are reinforcing through the architecture that this isn't the story we all know. A bit further into the trailer, we also come across a beautiful white dragon. Players in China have already determined this to be Kang Jinglong due to the golden horn on his head. 
In the novel, he is one of Wukong's allies, but here he is fighting the player character as an enemy. This also reinforces that you are not the protagonist. But once again, who are you supposed to be? And as a fellow monkey, why are you going against the Monkey King's allies? What is it they say about myths and legends? They're stories that may have been grounded in truth at some point, but evolved and spun to become fantastical tales through years of retellings by word of mouth. I want to go back to the scripture Tang Sen was to retrieve. This scripture was said to contain the truth of Buddhist teachings. Some of these tenets are recited in a trailer, but we hear in a voiceover a male voice saying, Fang Pi literally translates to fart, but basically it means BS. He then offers his own version of teaching, stating, Thou shalt kill lest fuse instill, thou shalt steal as decreed by free will. And it goes on, but we can see a clear theme in the changes, thou shalt write your own destiny. To continue this theory, we have to consult the source text. In the novel, the traveling band constantly has run-ins with Yao, who believe that eating the flesh of Tang Sen will grant them eternal life and liberation from their sins. However, many of them turn out to be earthly manifestations of heavenly beings, or animal spirits with enough Taoist spiritual merit to assume semi-human forms. Some of the monsters turn out to be escaped celestial beasts belonging to bodhisattvas or Taoist sages and deities. Basically, these are creatures who defied their masters, which is exactly what the voiceover is encouraging here. An example of this that we can see in the trailer is this character. Now, the context of this scene suggests that this is Leyin Temple, and his big belly would suggest that he is Mi Le Fu. But notice how he isn't smiling at all, and he also has distinct golden eyebrows. This means he is not a bodhisattva, but Huang Mei, which literally translates to yellow brow, who is actually actually a servant of the real Mi Le Fu. When his master was away, Yellow Brow escaped to strike out on his own and become his own boss. He creates a fake Leying Temple which we see here and impersonates the Bodhisattva while his minions disguise themselves as Buddha's followers. In other words, this character is going against his keeper and forging his own destiny. Keeping this in mind, take a look at this interface, specifically this symbol here. This stands for Wukong's skill, Shen which translates to body beyond the body. His hair has magical properties. Wukong can literally pluck them from his body and use them to transform into various weapons, animals, and even make copies of himself. So let's recap. First, we know the player character is not the Monkey King, as indicated by NPC dialogue, boss fights against would-be allies, and an appearance from Sun Wukong himself. Second, there is a theme of defying your master and disobeying their commandments to forge your own path, reinforcing the Black Myth title. And third, we know the Monkey King can create copies of himself using his Shen Wai Shen Fa ability. Putting all this together, my personal theory is the player character is the shadow self of the Monkey King, something he created when using the Shen Wai Shen Fa skill. Some might call this a dark side, but a shadow self is an unconscious part of your psyche that contains all the parts of you that you don't want to admit to having. I believe the player character is who Wukong would have been if he didn't become a disciple of Tang Sen. He would have continued to be naughty and reckless and live how he wanted to live, storming the heavens and causing havoc. Going back to the commandments, thou shall not kill. In the novel, Tang Sen constantly keeps Wukong from killing. We see in the trailers, the player character has no qualms about destroying his enemies. However, even in the game, the Monkey King appears to still follow his master's teachings and steps in to stop you from landing the killing blow. Thou shall not speak lies. In the novel, Wukong often uses his Huo Yan Jing Jing ability, which can literally be translated into fiery golden sight. This ability allows him to tell who is a Yao in disguise, and his master and his comrades often do not believe him, even though Wukong ends up being right. This is bound to breed resentment, right? One more thing to add, Sun Wukong in the book fights an enemy called the Six-Eared Macaque. He is able to disguise himself to look exactly like the Monkey King and has all of his same abilities. He serves as a foil to Wukong and represents what the Monkey King could have become had he chosen power and chaotic freedom over protecting his master and escorting him to the west. In other words, the six-eared macaque is Wukong's shadow self. Killing him symbolized that Wukong was able to purge himself from his dark side. 
So I think the player character is either the six-eared macaque and or Wukong's shadow self, whom he created using his Shen Wai Shen Fa ability. But the thing about a shadow self is that it cannot be cast out because it is ultimately a part of you, but you can overcome it. In Chinese culture and Taoism, the concept of balance is very prominent. The yin and yang is a great example of this. The light is represented by yang, but light cannot exist without darkness, which is represented by the small dot of yin and vice versa. If my theory holds true, fighting the real Monkey King could be a final boss encounter, where the outcome determines who becomes the legend and who becomes the black myth. I believe the story of the game will ultimately conclude with the player character merging with the Monkey King, a piece of himself that was cast off but now reconciled as whole. Or it's also possible the player character defeats the Monkey King and takes his place, rewriting the original story and Wukong's fate. Perhaps the devs will have multiple story endings planned for us, but regardless of whether my theory pans out, I am so excited for this title. My biggest hopes are that the devs integrate all of Wukong's 72 transformations and abilities to allow for more gameplay diversity, and that they somehow include all 81 tribulations from the original novel. My personal favorite adversary from Journey to the West that I would love to see in the game is Bai Guqing. She is a thousand-year-old skeleton who takes the appearance of a beautiful woman, and she needs to consume Tang Sen in order to achieve immortality and avoid the wheel of reincarnation. But tell me what you think, guys! Any theories you have, observations, questions, hopes, dreams, desires, drop a comment below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so others have an easier time finding it. And I'd be honored if you'd hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Until the next one, bye!